Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour. So the last time I did this, we still lived in an apartment, but honestly my shelves are not that different. There's just maybe some different books, but I figured it would be fun to do it every year just to kind of see what my bookshelves look like at the time. So the bookshelves behind me, the white ones, are the white Billy bookshelves from Ikea. And then I have a TBR cart which I got from Michael's the craft store and then I also have another wooden bookshelf that my mom's boyfriend built for me so yeah let's just get right into it so here is the general overview of my bookshelves so I'll go up because there's stuff on top So let's start over here with my TBR cart. So here on the top shelf of my TBR cart, I just have this sticker that I got off of Etsy that just says bookish. And then I have this magnet here that is from the Strand bookstore in New York. My friend Casey got this for me. I used to have it on my fridge, but I wanted to put it on my book cart here. I haven't been to the Strand, but I really, really want to go. And then I have all of my bookmarks in this little mug here. I did a bookmark collection video a long time ago. So I have new ones in here. It's like stuffed plump full. So if you want another bookmark collection video, leave it in the comments down below and I might make one. But I got this mug from I think Fairy Loot several years ago. It just says Queen of Books with a little crown on it. So I keep that up here for when I choose new books for my TBR. And then I always put my physical TBR books on top here. So these are the three, whoops, these are the three that I have on my physical TBR right now. Sometimes I'll stand them up, but since I only have these three here, I just have them laying down. Then on the second shelf of my TBR cart, I have all of my reading journals. So these are the three that I use pretty regularly. This is my normal reading journal that I do all my spreads and stuff in. This one I've been using for years. It's just like a little notebook that I write the title of the books and nothing else so I can kind of easily see what I read and when. And then this one I use to write like reviews and stuff down but I'm kind of not enjoying that so much since I write Goodreads reviews. It's just like the same thing but now I'm writing it down but I do really like this journal and like the stickers on it so I do want to use it. And then these other ones are like my past ones. This is my 2021 reading journals, my 2019, 2020, I don't know, 2020 journal, I think. It's a blank journal. And then I have the Taylor Swift lover album here because there's like journal pages in it. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that. And then in here, I just have my like annotating and journaling pencil case with all of the supplies that I use to annotate and journal with. And then I have these, these are magnet bookmarks of Feyre and Reese, but I just put them on here because I don't actually like using these as bookmarks and I wanted to display them somewhere, so I have them out here. And then I have my Poppy and Hawk from Blood and Ash magnets on here, which I got in the Illumicrate box. And then I put this sticker on here just to kind of like bring it all together, the book was better. And then on the very bottom shelf, I just have all of my book sleeves and stuff that I use because I just, I don't know, I didn't have anywhere else to put them and it's kind of nice to have them displayed a little bit. So these are all my book sleeves. Then we're moving on to my Sarah J Mass shelf. So this is the shelf that my mom's boyfriend built for me. On the top here, I have the two collector's edition books of A Court of Thorns and Roses and Throne of Glass. I just want them displayed because they're really pretty. And then I have the pre-order pins. So this was the pre-order pin for A Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Silver Flames, and then Kingdom of Ash, which is from the Throne of Glass series. I actually bought a, fin a pin flag that I want to hang right up here in this blank space so that I can pin those on there. And then this right here is like a coaster that Brandon made for me. He just printed this fan art off. I'm not sure who the artist is. I think it's Charlie Bowater. And then it's like a like a coaster, but I don't ever want to use it because I don't want it to get ruined, so I just have it on display here. So this first shelf is my original covers of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have the 
coloring book over there which I have never colored in and I don't really plan to because I'm not very good at coloring and I don't want to ruin it but it's fun to flip through and then this right here is the arc of A Court of Thorns and Roses which I was very lucky to find on Twitter and did like a trade on Twitter to get this and then my many copies of A Court of Mist and Fury a Court of Wings and Ruin, the couple special editions I have, and then A Court of Frost and Starlight. And the second shelf is all of the new covers, the new edition covers of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, along with my multiple copies of A Court of Silver Flames. So I believe each of the copies of A Court of Silver Flames are special editions, and then this was the tour edition of A Court of Silver Flames. And then I have this cute little candle called um, House of Wind by Flick the Wick. And I don't use it, I don't burn it ever, but obviously it's got to do with the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, so I have it sitting there. Then the next shelf is my Throne of Glass series, so I have the whole series in hardcover. Most of these, well, most of these from here over are special edition or signed. These first ones aren't, I think maybe air fire is signed I'm not sure but hopefully one day I'll get to go to a like author signing with Sarah J Mass and I'll get those signed and then this has um like the cover art on the inside of the dust jacket and I just flipped it so that Aelin was facing out <laughs> and then on the bottom shelf are like my other books by Sarah J Mass. So I have the original cover of Throne of Glass which is really rare and hard to find because it's out of print now. I do like the other cover much better but this is pretty cool that it's that rare. And then I have another special edition of Empire of Storms that doesn't fit on the other shelf. And then my heavily annotated copy of Empire of Storms. I have my two Catwoman books, so this one is just signed by the author, and then this is a special edition one, special cover, which is also signed. And then my other copy of House of Birth and Blood is what I'm reading right now, so I don't have that one. It's, there's nothing special about it, it's just the original standard cover. And then I have this special editions from Waterstones, which has sprayed edges. And then an extra copy of A Court of Mist and Fury. So then moving on to the next shelf. Here's a quick overview of it. Up at the top, I have my special fairy loot editions of the From Blood and Ash books. And then I have a little Baby Yoda, Baby Grogu, if you watch um, Mandalorian. Also keep my like tote bags over here. So this was one of the pre-order gifts for, I think it was for A Court of Mist and Fury. So this is my favorite one. And then I have the Book of, Mo Book of the Month one and then a library one. So these two white shelves, I primarily organize by like genre and general feels. So I have my like thriller horror shelf up here. Some of these books are hidden. This is I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. So and then I have the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, a couple other ones. My brother's friend wrote this one and signed it to me. I haven't read it yet, but I don't really have any interest to, but it's nice that it's signed and it has a cute little note in it. Some horror, some thrillers, and then some book of the month books, and then all my Riley Sager books. This shelf is kind of a little bit of everything. It has some fantasy, my ninth house middle game this is just straight up high fantasy the shades of magic series then i have the arc of scythe series and then the illuminae files books which i loved but i haven't read in so long because i'm just not in a sci-fi mood but i remember really enjoying them and then i have a little bobblehead funko of ray from star wars this shelf I call my witchy shelf, so it has books that have witches in it or like kind of witchy magic, and then I have this little limestone <laughs> that looks kind of like a crescent moon, so I kept it because it's really pretty. And then I have a candle that kind of fits the vibes of this shelf. 
But yeah, a lot of these are like my favorite witchy books. And then I just have some crystals over here and a fake eucalyptus plant. <laughs> this next shelf is my like whimsical fantasy shelf. So I have my Aaron Morgenstern books over here, the Winter Night Trilogy, my TJ Klune books, the whole Wayward Children series. My Lainey Taylor books. These are all books that just have like very whimsical feels to them. And then right below that is my fantasy shelf. So I obviously I need a lot more room for fantasy series because I just have so many fantasy books. But yeah, I have my From Blood and Ash books right here, my Cruel Prince series, the Book of the Air series. I have my Nevernight series, my Witchlands series, and then I'll put the rest of the Curse of Dark and Lonely series. I don't know, whatever. Curse Breakers, is that the series name? And right below that, I have some kind of, this is kind of a weird shelf. I have the series of Unfortunate Events. I have the whole series. I've never read the series before. I'm not really sure if I plan to. I bought them because I just really wanted to collect them all because I thought it would be fun and eventually I do want to have kids and I thought it would be a fun thing for them to read. I don't know. I've never read them. I don't know why I collected them all. Then I have the Hamilton book and then some like really pretty editions of books like this is Alice in Wonderland. It's got like silver pages. This is like a book about fairies. It's got gold pages. And then my Harry Potter books are over here too. So. Moving on to this last shelf, I'll give you a quick overview of it as well. So starting up at the top, I have this little spy gnome that my friend Casey got for me when we were in high school, I think, and his name is Pappy and I just keep him to protect the books. And then I've been kind of collecting the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan in the like classic fantasy paper, like mass market paperbacks. Um, these ones I found, this one was from Brandon, it's from Goodwill. And then these I found at my local thrift store, but I just really like the classic fantasy covers. And they have a little, little bowl guy here with a smile, he's kind of cute. I have my special exclusive edition of The Starless Sea. It's one of my favorite books, so I have it on display up there because it is so pretty. And I have some wooden roses that I got from Brandon. This next shelf is all of my graphic novels and comics and stuff. So I have, you know, all my thicker, chunkier graphic novels over here and then my like traditionally styled graphic novels. All these DC ones are all Harley Quinn ones and then I have the Saga series and then Giant Days. And I'm looking to replace this one of Giant Days because it's got this little sticker here from, it's like an ex-library copy. And I don't like that, so I kind of want to replace it. <laughs> then I have my romance shelf. So this, these ones are all like fantasy romance. This is the Bargainer series right here. I'd highly, highly recommend it if you are a fan of Sarah J Mass books and like the From Blood and Ash series. It's so, so good. And then a couple Scarlet St. Clair books here. All oh, this candle I got from Casey as well. It's supposed to smell like Taylor Swift. So I have it sitting up here by my romance shelf because why not? Then I have a stack of some of my favorite romances. A lot of these I read like years ago. Some of them I read last year when I was in a romance reading mood, but they're so cute and so much fun. So if you haven't read any of these, I would highly recommend them. Then I have my copy of The Love Hypothesis. Hypothesis. I got it from Book of the Month, so that's why I have it sitting on the side because it's my only hardcover romance. And then these are all like super slow burn. Mariana Zapata and the Spanish Love Deception are super, super slow burn. Then my Colleen Hoover's that I really like, and then a couple others over here. This next shelf I just call my Penelope Douglas shelf because obviously most of these are all Penelope Douglas. I have one book that's not Penelope Douglas on this shelf, and that is The Brutal Prince by Sylvie Lark. I just have it there because it kind of feels like a Penelope Douglas book, but so I've got her Fall Away series, the Devil's Night series, and then Punk 57. These are all her standalones. I have a special edition copy of Credence that I got from Hello Lovely. Then we've got some contemporary down here. So a lot of my Frederick Bachman books. Yes, I have two copies of Anxious People. I kind of wanted it to be in paperback, but I already annotated my hardcover edition because it's one of my favorite books of all time. So 
I'm just keeping both for now because I don't want to let go of the paperback. <laughs> yeah, not too much to say about this one, just, just some contemporary. This shelf is another kind of hodgepodge one. So I have my two Charlotte McConaughey books over here along with The New Wilderness by Diane Cook. These books are mostly about like a near future society where like climate change and like just general human behavior has kind of wreaked havoc on the world. So I have them kind of lumped together over there. Then I have my stack of nonfiction that I keep. And then I have some like classics and historical fiction over here. And then the very last shelf, I just call this my nostalgic shelf because all of these books make me feel pretty nostalgic. I've got my whole Twilight series and the hosts, which were, I mean, very formative in my high school years, um, along with Hunger Games and the Divergent series. Those are some of my favorites and they just make me feel really nostalgic. These are the books that got me into reading, so I'm very grateful for them. <laughs> And then I just have a couple books over here that again, they just like make me feel really nostalgic. The Three Little Kittens is like a little golden book that my great grandparents used to read to me. Like this is like the legit copy that they used to read to me. And I was obsessed with cats when I was little, so. Then I've got my favorite Magic Treehouse book, Pirates Past Noon. I have this book that my mom gave to me when I graduated high school and she like wrote in it and it's, it makes me cry sometimes when I read it if I miss her. <laughs> and The Little Match Girl, Brandon got me this copy because I couldn't find my copy from my childhood but this is a book that my grandma used to read to me. And then I have The Tea Dragon Society over here which is just another really cute one. So yeah, those are all of my books. That is my bookshelf tour, a little rundown of my bookshelves. I hope that you liked it. I know that I love my bookshelves. Sometimes I come into this room and just look at them because I love my books so much. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so, so much for watching. If you did like it, you can let me know by liking and subscribing down below. And if you don't know what to leave, just leave the little book stack emoji down below so that you, I know you made it to the end of the video if you did, if you want to. And thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!